Hey guys, I am joined the Nexus Corp lobby earlier today and uh, my ally, the host, uh, made uh, two random mutators and Nexus Battlefield mode uh, and they're all the Zera tool. I was like, okay, let's play Statman, maybe it will be okay. And on first look on the mutators, I was, my first thought was we are dead over here because Zera tool comes late units also. For Zeratul and I am Statman, I'm not overmind or something, so it was like, okay, what can we do over here? I'm not giving up yet. So, I was like, let's go. Maybe we can survive for some time, you know, because I, I do have this overlord that can kill one rift. And well, I also said, uh, most shit mutators you can get I said yes gonna be a fail well that's what I thought too so I'm rushing of course mecha hatchery I was like okay I have uh, time let me get the first volley on these rocks and still will be having it because it's 45 second cooldown and still will have it for the rift and Statman also comes pretty early, he comes at 2 minute mark, which is also uh, a good thing. So I uh, you know I have to do something uh, early game for t first 2 rifts, because Ally definitely cannot. And first rifts spawn in 220. And we of course also have Propagator, so this will be really fun. <laughs> okay. So I am here in the field waiting for rifts to spawn, spreading out a little bit. But unfortunately, Statman has no job over there because both rifts spawn here. So I'm going and killing this one at least before uh, anything spawned. And I have to kill this one with Statman pulling back Overlord because can do Overlord cannot fight. Just snipe buildings every 45 seconds with. Uh, thousand damage okay so statman is kind of tanky uh, uh, not tanky but actually have decent regeneration so uh, uh, can uh, fight the first uh, spawns like first few just few units no big and now I'm using this to actually get uh, the these cleaned okay in the meantime I do did uh, what I usually do get four zerglings to attack the hatchery but the statman is not here now I actually cannot uh... okay I deployed the first uh, things over here that was I think actually a mistake I've done it uh, uh, down here okay and the next respawn okay now I still don't have the ability but uh, now I do still manage to shoot before anything spawned and I was like okay Pinging to ally to kill that rift and he also killed the first propagator I believe so Zeratul has this uh, uh, shadow blade that can actually one shot the propagator so that's uh, and the rift too so that's pretty good and it's not completely melee I think it says like one or even two range so uh, in the splash thingy so I was like, okay, let's. Uh, and I made some hydras. Now uh, we should be going over here soon. The second prop is coming. Well, I did clear everything of his. Okay, I actually forgot. I was like saving the thing for, okay, 520. Yeah, then I didn't forget actually I was saving uh, the energy for this and now I'm going here my ally will clear this one. Oh, 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 okay, okay. He's using the thing. I'm doing this. Okay, so I have some hydras over here and now I decided to actually uh, get trainer. Okay, I was late. I should have used it immediately. Okay, now I'm using it. Not too late though. But uh, the problem is enemy is Mecha Zerg, so it's for me it's Statman against Statman. Unfortunately this production is kind of... Mm, you cannot see research. Unfortunately. It's uh, for Nexus Corp and it's uh, blurred on the replay. Okay, well, it's uh, now 
using this over here, which is uh, good. Okay, one good thing is that Setman has pretty good static D. Also has turrets, but I still haven't deployed any. And uh, okay, I'm almost saturated over here. We've been a little bit late with this. But okay, I was like, we so survived so far. Maybe we can even do it because I'm confident. Then, I mean, even just a few hydras, they do a lot of damage, so I can kill props with them. And uh, it's also good for pushing. You can see one shadow uh, cleave. I don't know if Zeratul can actually get propped. I think he can, but uh, it uh, cleaves faster than uh, Propagator. I was doing a good job with that. Killing this attack wave. Uh, actually, that was uh, away from the rift, yeah, because attack waves are uh, mechas are not official units. Uh, and it's like from official co op, so. Uh, now I'm actually pushing in here. I got all the up both of the upgrades for Overlord speed and uh, and uh, detection because like okay let's uh, let's have speed for uh, this this thing over here. Okay. Now we are pushing in here. And I'm like okay now the rift there is a propagator. Okay I already have two setups. Unfortunately they are one behind each. Other buck, okay, tanks can still cover cover each other and ally is using this. I think it might have actually helped not to get me propagated, but I think that these guys will able to actually kill the prop, maybe not. Okay, ally is uh well now this will definitely die. Okay, have a rift over here and ally is going towards the oh actually he might he clear this area which is pretty good. It's only bad if these guys get uh, propagated, but now the pop poop is dealt with. I think it uh, might even kill this uh, bonus. Okay, well, it's pulling back. I didn't send worker immediately. I'm sending it now. That's kind of a mistake, but okay. Now I have mineral line saturated. I don't have gases, but it's actually, in this case, it's actually more important. I'm using this thing to clear this area, and I will be fighting this propagator with this, but it actually was propagated but still I think exploded so it killed the prop then propagator didn't actually propagate it didn't uh, didn't uh, multiply okay now I'm going here and to clear some of these guys which is pretty good and so far okay I was like okay it's going okay-ish Ella is doing very good job with this void seeker actually to kill uh, to kill all the rifts, which was uh, which was a good thing. Well, I'm now protecting his base too. So good thing is that okay now the benches start coming, but now I have actually quite a lot of minerals to get these turrets. Some turrets are pretty strong. They have 300 HP, and they can deal with stuff. Okay, now I'm killing this thing, and. Uh, now it's actually where the troubles kinda begun because, well, actually the bane links were the worst thing. You see that those are hunter bane links, and I lost everything. So I actually cannot. I should have told Ella that. Uh, but okay, I mean he was busy doing other stuff, and I was like I was fuming now. <laughs> Yeah, the banelings were actually worse than mutators for me, and I had to go hard. I didn't want to go mutas because mutas are too short range. I was uh, worried of them getting propped, and I know hydras are very good. So uh, I went hydras, but unfortunately hydras were not good against this. Okay, now I have to go that I have overload speed, so now I don't have turrets here yet, but I have benches, so I need to go here. But okay, my tanks are better. <laughs> and I have 13 range. Do, do, do actually normal tanks have 13 tanks? Okay. As you can see, these turrets, they have weapon speed 0.4. Mine, okay, that's, that's actually a lot of uh, damage. Okay, now I again lose stuff to enemy bane links. And now I was, I uh, for second time this game, I thought we were dead. Okay, because there is a lot of rifts open. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think we have six rifts open. 
here, or oh, if I see it correctly, yes, the one of them is behind Bovenos. And but the thing is, we ha at least we have a pretty good static deal already over here too. Two of the drops and a lot of turrets here also. Uh, this here did nothing. It would be even better if I got this over here. Have Overlord here. Okay, well, he's using this over here. We didn't. We still didn't capture this one. <laughs> okay, now this static deal. Let's put, really put to the test, but you can see that fire suppression system and also SCVs kind of make it pretty good. And the bad thing is these siege tanks, oh yeah, they also have 13 range, so normal siege, so it is normal siege tank range. And fortunately now while well, I deals with this, Zeratul's units are a lot better against this. I cannot use overload against units because it can only target structures. So he cleared a lot of the rifts, there are still quite a few over there, but uh, these guys can actually hold. Now I actually have the money to produce, I make the second uh, the second hatchery, borrow these zerglings so they don't get propped or something. <laughs> they did their job early game. I'm getting statement energy. But yeah, this was a really, really good job with this Void Seeker, and it can also teleport, so... Uh, pretty good ally is now pushing into the bonus. Actually, it's to kill the bonus and to kill the rift behind, so... Okay, now the Vipers come. Vipers are pretty much as similar to the ones in the official co-op. They have the same spells and now we have two props now i'm using this to actually okay i didn't micro i think this properly but they still did kill most of the stuff your hybrids will die so uh, i was a bit worried about these props probably and now i'm here but uh, ella is not yet sending anything he's just working on with the on the rifts, okay, if we get like too many rifts, then even this defense would probably be kinda not enough. I even uh, made this over here because there were some rifts there to actually protect and even getting Overlord here if Banshee comes to protect like any flying units from incursions over here. And uh, okay, so oh, something got propped, but uh, I did kill stuff. Uh, rifts now coming, okay, I was like, let's push in, but I was discouraged by something. Okay, this is finally the way I can fight, because there are no banelings, but unfortunately they focus down my statman. And killed some hydras. Okay, I did get this. I get, did get the uh, turrets here because they uh, have um, a lot of money, but I think they didn't, they weren't completed in time. And actually, I shouldn't have done this. And if you have propagators, you want all the turrets in front to actually be able to kill the stuff. Okay, Statman is still uh, not available, still dead. Okay, now there is uh, three drops over here, also three drops over here. Statman is coming, but now we are getting propped over here, and when they start propping turrets, it's kind of hard to uh, stop them, but uh, eventually the turrets did manage to, <laughs> the last one on this side remains standing. Here we are pretty fine. Each lot we activate slows Amon's progress. We must continue. I can see the props will die. Okay, finally yeah, I uh, sending something, but now, now I don't I don't have the things. But we will be having them soon. Okay, now Ella is pushing here, clearing what's left over here. 
I am fighting these Zerglings now, fortunately. But these guys, Broodlords, they actually shoot... Uh, they have carpet bombing, they shoot uh, Bane links. So uh, you have to kill them as uh, fast as possible. There's some Zerglings here, okay, now... My turrets here also got problems, so these turrets actually didn't do that, they were only pretty much uh, a nuisance. Okay, there's one, two, three, four, five, I think eight uh, uh, rifts open, but now these guys can tank a lot. Yeah, I will probably kill this and I was like, okay, we will now probably win this now I was genuinely thinking we were gonna win this because uh, like okay we now just have to go here and win and I even uh, dropped something into Eli's base I think I even blocked some of the workers from getting any but I was like okay Eli doesn't need so much minerals anymore now it's the most important is to protect his base and you can see propagators are mixed with units but I managed to kill okay with little help uh, Oh, Eli, okay, this siege tank is uh, causing problems, but now we actually have to just get in and uh, and win before these uh, waves manage to recapture our stuff. A lot of rifts open now, but uh, okay, there is a poop train over here. But as you can see, these tanks are pretty effective okay I, w I thought that i would be getting my base pooped but uh, actually the static d won in the end and now this is actually a victory against two mutators with n not the best muta uh, commanders against this but uh, there was a mutation what was it called mass manufacturing yeah the only one that uh, I still didn't do with these two mutators on part and parcel and I have to solo it as I do every t every mutation each week but this is the only one I failed I didn't forget it but I might uh, actually try it with statman looking at this like uh, this I might actually do because if um, the main problem here for me were the enemy bane links so if you get a uh, normal enemy composition and get something uh, easy like some ground actually air would be even better some like let's say sky toss or something or zerg i think i might actually be able to win because static d is pretty good and can even kill the propagators mixed in with other units because he gets several siege tanks then uh, then they do pretty good job with the help of turrets so I think it might actually be viable and also using the using the top bar to clear uh, enemy bases and maybe help with some rifts but we'll see about that so this game was uh, pretty pretty uh, good let's see our overlay Hope you can see it. Uh, mm. Oh, it says no data. Oh, fuck. Okay, I need to go uh, over here and watch it here in the OBS. Okay, so. Uh, mm. Oh, no, wait, no. Uh, it's probably just uh, late. Okay, 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 good. So, as he kills pretty even. I actually thought Ella would be having uh, more APM, but he was good. He was doing the, the right thing, shutting down the rifts. See, he actually shut down uh, uh, double the amount of rifts, but I killed double the amount of propagators. So, nice division. Look at this <laughs> 1427. Okay, one short of double, and here is exactly double of. The prop kills uh, and unit kills wise we are even so pretty good so statement is not so bad actually i'm kind of starting to like more and more statement uh, in the uh, in the beginning i didn't know how to play statement i didn't know that uh, to actually use energy to make units and attack 
uh, my stuff attack hatchery in the end to get some starting hydras because hydras even in small numbers are pretty effective so uh, unless they die of course to banelings so uh, statement can actually be uh, useful in situations like this like overmind is definitely more useful in the killing intercepting props and rifts but uh, the units that actually come out of rifts uh, overmind static defense isn't so good because they don't deal splash damage it's, they're cheap i mean cheap static d but uh, range is not very good and also not no splash damage so uh, you can get overwhelmed Okay, if you have propagators and you cannot rely on <coughs> broodlords if you have propagators okay that's the thing but i will i will make i don't know if i will use, be using uh, overmind or perhaps even uh, uh, genara but genara is really hard and you need a lot of things to go uh, well for you maybe i will be using statman and like just one basing it we'll we'll see okay uh, thanks for watching guys uh, like and subscribe if you liked it and watch my other videos too see you guys